welcome back to another video, Levi and I, and Marcus, who's chilling back there, wondering why I'm not holding him as well, would like to introduce you to today's video. Today's video is just a simple, easy crock pot recipe video with two recipes that both myself and my husband really, really enjoyed, and I thought that they were worth sharing with you guys. If you're like me, maybe someone in your house or maybe your entire household besides you is not whole food plant-based vegan, and you're looking for some new recipes that your whole family will enjoy. I feel like crock pot recipes are something that we all enjoy because they're really simple to just dump and go. Both of these recipes are just five ingredients and you'll probably have all the ingredients already at home in your pantry. And if not, they're super accessible at any local grocery store. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe so you never miss a video by me. I have a new extreme grocery budget meal plan and a grocery haul coming to you on Saturday. So if you're not subscribed, you might miss it. I'll link my extreme grocery budget videos down below if you're curious as to what I'm talking about. But with all that being said, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me over on Instagram at Miranda Running on Plants. If you make either of the recipes, make sure to tag me over on Instagram. I love when I open the Instagram app and I have all these tags from you guys telling me you enjoy my recipes. So let's jump in to today's video, shall we? We shall. Recipe number one, five ingredients or less. So I am using some better than bouillon for flavor of this soup. You could definitely do just water and a chopped onion if you like, but I feel like this just adds so much flavor. I love this stuff. You're going to use a can of great northern beans, a can of corn, both drained and rinsed. You're gonna throw these with this and some water in either a food processor or a high speed blender. I'll show you. This is the only long grain wild rice I could find at the store. And I know it says herb and butter, but that's just the flavor packet. Okay, yes, I literally had to open it to double check, but there was no wild rice at my store. I couldn't, I even went to two separate stores, couldn't find it. You could add any rice you wanted. I just wanted a wild rice just for the flavor because it's a wild rice mushroom soup. But take the flavor packet out of there and it's vegan because it's just the rice um, that's parboiled. I double checked online, but then I wanted to make sure as I was talking, like, wait a second. And then mushrooms, whatever kind of mushrooms you would like. I just got some sliced white mushrooms. You're gonna put all this in your crock pot, either on low for about five to six hours, but I'm gonna pop it on high for three to four hours and it'll be ready for dinner tonight. So you're just gonna dump all this in. Like I said, um, these I am going to blend up. So technically it's not a dump and go, but one single step still makes it like a dump and go for me. Um, and then you can season it with whatever you like. I'm gonna add some, probably just some sea salt to it and it'll be good to go. Okay, here is the next recipe, night number two. 
I have one can of kidney beans, one can of black beans. Both will be drained and rinsed really well. One can of diced tomatoes. I have the one in the Italian herb. This is the large can. Three zucchini, which will be washed and chopped and then about five ounces of pasta. This is actually gonna sit out on the side while all of this kind of sits and simmers for about two hours on high, and then I'm gonna throw my pasta in when we're about 30 minutes out from eating. And this is gonna be my dump and go crock pot recipe of today. Okay, so to my crock pot, I've already added the can of tomatoes and about two additional cans of water. You can add as much or as little water as you'd like. And then right here, I have my rinsed and drained beans. You can use any kind of beans that you would like for this, doesn't matter. And I quickly chopped my zucchini. I like it to be kind of chunky, so that way like it doesn't, I don't know, it just has some like texture to it. Um, but that's it, that's all we're gonna do for this recipe the amount of time to open three cans, rinse two cans of beans, and chop a little zucchini. So it might have taken me about five minutes to get this together. I'm gonna pop it on high, put the lid on. It'll probably cook for about two hours. This little crock pot cooks so fast. I'll link it below if you're looking for like a smaller one. I know a lot of people have bigger ones. We've never gotten a bigger one because we just didn't think it was necessary with the two of us. And I do have an instant pot, so I don't need a bigger one. But I wish I did have the one that was like digital so you could set the time or had the warmer because we don't have that. But this is this is okay, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that would be nice. But I have this, it works until it breaks and we'll get a new one. So lid is on. I didn't put any additional seasonings in here because the tomatoes did have Italian herb um, seasoning with that. And in about two hours, I'll check this and then I'll throw in the pasta, let it cook, and I'll show you in a little bit that step.